What is up guys, Inside here with a brand new Super Mario Odyssey video. Now today, as the title suggests, we are going to be messing around with some cheap cheeps. We're going to start here in the Lake Kingdom, seeing as it is one of the only kingdoms that does have cheap cheeps to mess around with. And we're going to start with the biggest thing that you can do with cheap cheeps. Now I'm sure you guys have heard of the cheap cheap clip glitch by now, but we're going to show it off anyways just in case you haven't. This glitch is possible to do in the Lake Kingdom, but I'm not actually sure if you can do it in any other kingdoms with Cheap Cheeps. So in order to pull off this glitch, make sure you head over to this flag over here, the Water Plaza Entrance. This is the easiest place to do it, because you can get out, exit to the right, and there's some Cheap Cheeps over here. You're going to bypass them for now, and make your way over to this place with three purple coins in it. Get rid of all the pigs, so then the glitch will be ready to start. There we go, just like that. Now you're going to head back over and capture a Cheap Cheep. Once you have the cheap cheap captured, make your way back over to this area. As you can notice, when you're underneath this ground, you actually cannot uncapture the cheap cheap. It plays that noise. However, if you're barely on the inside of this platform, you can actually uncapture like so. So that's what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to go to the exact edge of it and keep pressing B to swim up. While you're doing this, uncapture. Do it a couple times and you should actually click right through the wall. It's pretty insane and there's a few things you can do. Oh, just like that. We are out of bounds in the Lake Kingdom. Now, unfortunately, we are going to run out of air. We could turn on assist mode to help that, but I'm just going to show you the gist of what's out of bounds. So obviously, you can see everything from the way you're not supposed to, and that's pretty cool looking. There's this black box over here. I'm not really sure. Oh, wait, never mind. That's like the underwater maze, I guess. Let's go try to find a bubble that's on the edge of both in and out of bounds. Yo, parkour, get right in between here. Come on, give me that bubble. Give me that bubble. That's what we want. As you can see, this is the texture for the top of that building, so that's pretty neat. And then, let's see. Oh, we will go right through that, so we want to stay just barely above it. There is the entrance to the cave. Oh, we can actually kind of see from the top. Yo, that's weird. Dang it, I thought we were going to try to get some air right there. But that's pretty much the gist of what's out of bounds. You actually... Whoa. Did you guys see that? I actually didn't know you could do that. But basically, I guess, if you glitch your way under there without opening up the zipper thing, you can clip right through the bottom of it. That's pretty neat. This is a fairly easy glitch to pull off, so you can do it in a couple places here that have those pigs that are underwater. And now to move on to some other things you can do with cheap sheeps in Super Mario Odyssey. Now as you can see in this area, there aren't actually any cheap sheeps, but we can fix that. The cheap sheeps beauty needs to be spread across to all corners of the globe, so let's go find one and bring it over to this new area. So I think we're going to bring this one to a new home. There's actually a few steps you have to do in order to do this, and cheap sheeps despawn fairly quickly, so you're going to have to do it pretty fast too. First step is to bring it over here and uncapture and hurry and get this flower open. Recapture the cheap cheap and hop out of the water right onto it. And boom, you should be up. That was a pretty neat trick shot we just did right there. And now we are in the Lakitu Pond. From here, it's just a long run over to that pool. And you actually can make it. It might get a bit close. But let's see. And now the cheap cheap can swim freely over in this corner of the Lake Kingdom also. I guess it's not really a corner, but still. Now we're going to move on to the next kingdom with a cheap cheap, which is actually the seaside kingdom. Now technically the snow kingdom does have cheap cheeps in it, but you honestly cannot do anything cool or of notice with them in the snow kingdom. So we're just going to skip that and head over to the seaside. Alright guys, here we are in the seaside kingdom. Let's go find a cheap cheap. You can grab a gushing. Oh, there's one right here. Never mind. Get rid of that gushing because it's worthless. And grab a cheap cheap. And never mind. Something I noticed when I was messing around with these sheep sheeps in the Seaside Kingdom earlier is another kind of weird visual glitch. Not really a glitch, but it's kind of odd. I'll show you what it is right now. So basically, if you stay out of the land for too long, the cheap sheep starts to uh, kind of get transparent and flash back and forth between transparency, like so. So if you actually uncapture it right before it dies on its own and head back over to where you captured the cheap cheap, you'll notice something a bit odd. That's right guys, your eyes are not deceiving you, it is a transparent cheap cheap. It'll actually stay that way until you capture it. So that's pretty neat, I don't really know why that happens to be honest.
What have I created? That is a beautiful image right there. I need to save this forever. That's pretty much it for the glitches, or at least visual glitches. Now I'm going to show you where you can actually get cheap sheeps in this kingdom. So if you head your way over to this island that has a hot spring in it, you can capture the cheap sheep that's guarding this door with its life. I already made that joke in one of the videos, but oh well. Here you go. Capture that cheap sheep, and you can actually make your way into the hot spring, which is pretty cool. It does take a bit of work, though, and you need to have a gushin to hop on. Because as you can see... When you try to do it without a gushing, you can make it about this far, and you cannot- Oh wait, whoa! And you cannot hop in this area right there, so you actually need an extra boost from a gushing. So that is what we're gonna do right now. Get the cheap cheap as close to you as possible, because it despawn really quickly. So get out, dive, grab the gushing, move him a bit, grab the cheap cheap before he despawns. Then you're gonna wanna move it over here, so it stays on screen. I'm pretty sure they despawn even quicker when they're off screen and the Gushin despawned. Okay guys, attempt number six. Okay, the Gushin despawned, but we still have the cheap sheep safe and sound. Bring it over here. There we go. No. Yes, yes, this might be it. Yes, we made it, we made it. Now we just have to get into this pool. Boom, we did it, guys. After a couple times, we still have another pool to get into. The leap of faith, and we missed. Guys, we made it into the hot spring thing. Everyone is scared of us here. I'm not really sure why, because as I said before, the cheap peep does not look menacing at all. All right, guys, I really hope you did enjoy this video, and comment down below if you want me to keep this series messing around with stuff as an actual series and also tell me what you want me to mess around with in the future if you like this series but that's pretty much going to do it make sure to join the discord if you have any challenge ideas or glitches to show off but yeah i guess i'll see you guys next time bye